Let's bring in former CIA field operative Daryl Blocker. He joins us now with more on this. And, and Daryl, uh, Russia now says uh, that it has full control of that crucial port city, Mariupol, which has been the scene of such, such destruction and slaughter. It was a key objective for the Kremlin. Do they really have it may be the question. Uh, but what is the significance of Russia getting that? Uh, the Ukrainian uh, government, by the way, says that their intelligence thinks that Russia might want to have a victory parade down those desolate, destroyed streets. But what's the significance if they have taken control of it? Well, taking control of the city and taking control of the steel plant are two completely different things. I would, I think it rings hollow. Um, I think as long as there's fighting going on, no one can say that they have control one way or the other. And the idea of a, of a parade rolling down the streets of a contested area just sounds like lun lun lunacy to me. Hmm. And so Russia also uh, launching new missile strikes targeting this railway uh, station and power plant near Lviv, near the, the Polish border. What was the purpose of these attacks, Daryl? Well, I believe Mark has covered it really well. Um, they've identified key nodes of resupply for the Ukrainian troops and the Ukrainian uh, resistance uh, folks that have come in which always include telecommunications, always includes airfields, always includes transportation nodes. So it's not surprising. What's surprising is how close to the four EU slash NATO members that uh, share a board with Ukraine that's been going on. Well, uh, let me follow up on that if I could. So Russia is, is hitting resupply and, and critical supply areas in Ukraine. Well, the United States and NATO allies pouring uh, weapons and supplies into Ukraine across the Polish border and the Slovakian border as well. I'm, I'm kind of wondering, are you surprised that Russia hasn't hit, hasn't hit any of that, uh, either on its way into Ukraine or once it gets there? Well, I am surprised that an errant missile hasn't gone across one of the, one of the land borders. But, Terry, you got to keep in mind that uh, Ukraine shares a border with seven nations. Uh, the land border is roughly the distance uh, for Ukraine-Russia from the capital of Maine down to Miami, so just as a visual. And the six of the, of the remaining nations that share a border, five of them voted against Russia, the invasion, and Belarus is the only one on the, on the, um, on the Russian side. Even Moldova which is kind of, you know, stayed out of the way, voted against the invasion. And then, of course, Poland, Hungary, Romania, and Slovakia are the remaining uh, that share a border with Ukraine. Hmm. Daryl, putting an end to this, and we've talked a lot about sanctions, and the sanctions have increased. Uh, those supporting sanctions has expanded. Now the European Union's chief executive is proposing this complete ban, sort of a phase out uh, of Russian oil. How much of an impact could this have on uh, Russia's capacity to maintain uh, their military, maintain this invasion, maintain taking ground? I think the, the EU chief executive and the vote that, the, that they came up with today is a clear sign that the, that the alliance is not starting to you know, unravel. Now, Hungary and Slovakia are, you know, the, they have a heavier reliance on Russian oil than some of the other uh, 25 remaining member states. Um, but they clearly are on board and it might take them longer than the remainder of this calendar year uh, to squeeze Russian oil out of their, you know, out of their stocks. But it's a great sign that the alliance uh, remains intact and that they have a clear plan and path towards choking off Putin and those who support him. Former senior CIA field operative, Daryl Blocker. Always good to get your perspective. Thanks, Daryl. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.